Hey, what's up everyone? So in today's video, I'm gonna talk about my plans after the new year. So, I live in the Phoenix area, and right now I have uh, two vehicles. I have a 2014 BMW 5 Series and a 2018 BMW 4 Series convertible. So, being in this market, what what I'm uh, planning on doing right basically after New Year is price out my next three months. So this will be my third third uh, spring, or no, my second spring. This will be my second spring doing Turo. And last spring was amazing. Last spring, uh, February, March, April, especially March is real great here in uh, the Phoenix area, at least for my vehicles, because I have my vehicles available in one hour. And I get a lot of bookings. I get a lot of last minute bookings, those travelers, same day bookings. And I, and I capture those because I have the one hour advance notice uh, delivery or pickup option. And my delivery is, well, I fluctuate between two and three hours. So right now, I have it at a two hour advance notice for delivery and I deliver it to uh, a few resorts in North Phoenix, Scottsdale, uh, North Scottsdale and to the Scottsdale airport and to the main Phoenix Sky Harbor airport. So I do delivery to all those and my vehicle's available to be dropped off in two hours. So they're both clean and ready to go. And in fact, uh, with the one I'm in, the five series, I'm just gonna, I have my leather cleaner. I'm just gonna clean the leather because uh, I cleaned the inside from the last trip. Everything's super clean except the, except the uh, seat. Now the seats are clean, but I always wipe them down. I have this leather cleaner that I'm gonna use to wipe them down and so my plans are to hit the road running in january so i'm gonna set up my prices in fact i'm gonna probably set them up this weekend for uh january february march and uh, my plan is to be competitive and be aggressive and not 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 be the cheapest I'm gonna actually price it out on the high end because as you guys may know, in February, we got the Super Bowl here and I expect to make a killing those two weeks. And then right from there, we got the Phoenix Open and then we got the baseball spring training. So lots of visitors are gonna be coming here in Phoenix and you know, I'm gonna uh, just have everything ready starting the new year. So this weekend, I'm gonna set my prices for January, February, March. Normally in the past, like I only look two months out and then um, I always make adjustments as I go. But um, this this time, this time of year, I'm gonna go three months out. But of course I'll still be managing my listings as I go. So it's not just gonna be, hey, here's here's my pricing and I'm just gonna stick with that. No, you know, you always wanna revisit and make sure, see what the competitors are doing and see where you're priced at. And, you know, just do your market research. It's an ongoing thing doing market mar market research. So um, that'll be my strategy, you know, this, this first quarter in uh, 2023. Uh, definitely wanna capitalize on as many bookings as possible and obviously at the right price too so you know it's one thing to get bookings uh but to get bookings at the right price that's what i'm shooting for i'm not gonna price my cars too low and um also i know based on my reviews my uh, vehicles being available that i'm gonna capture a lot of bookings so and um also a couple things here so let me show you um if you guys have vehicles with premium that take premium fuel only 
I got this four pack from um, from Amazon for I think it was like eight bucks maybe. So right now I just have two cars. So I have it on my two vehicles there. And then here's my leather cleaner that I use. This one. It's, uh, it's good, I like it, because what it does too is it removes any odors from from the seats. So not only does it clean them, but definitely removes the odors from it. So those are a couple things. If you have uh, uh, high-end vehicles that require premium that have leather, those are two things that you need to have. But yeah, like I said, you know, uh, so if you're a tour host and you're in an area where you know, like Miami, where you get a lot of spring spring uh, vacationers, um, Southern California, maybe, um, you know, you know your market better than I do. So if you have, um, you know, certain events going on, um, concerts or, um, you know, like if you have like January might be a good skiing season. So if you live in a ski area or close to ski resorts, then you want to make sure you're priced right. You're priced uh, not only competitively, but you want to make sure you're priced where you're making good money. You know, you don't want to rent out vehicles that should get you $75, $85 a day. You don't want to rent them out for $50, $55. So be smart about it, you know, and, um, uh, yeah. So what are your what are your strategies for starting out the year? Are you going to do the same approach as I do? Price that out for three months. How do you normally price out your calendar? So, again, like I said, typically I do two months in advance, but uh, this time I'm going to do three months in advance. And I'll be honest, I've uh, the last I focused so much on the holidays uh, from November, December, I only focused my price for these next, for these uh, last couple months. But now that, uh, you know, those are pretty much behind us. We just got the new year. Uh, I'm going to focus on next year. So I, I really didn't put much thought into next year, although I've monitored my prices. I'm not cheap. Uh, I, I don't have any future bookings. So for January, for next year, but and definitely want to make sure that, uh, you know, get that scheduled so that way I'm competitive, getting the right price and getting those bookings. So one advantage, uh, a huge advantage, having your vehicles available in one hour is those uh, same day bookings, those last minute bookings. And I got a bunch of those. Not only am I able to keep my price higher, um, I don't get many advanced bookings because my price point's always high. So I get mainly same week, same day, day before book type of bookings. And that's why I always make sure my cars are available and ready to go. So not only are you able to get that last minute booking at the higher price point, but you're able to get that 10% price boost, which Turo makes available to us. So uh, that'd be uh, one thing that you guys also want to focus on is because um, there's there's a lot of crazy things going on there with cancellations, flights being canceled, um, travel, weather, and, you know, plans are changing on a dime. And so you always want to make, make sure that, you know, your vehicles are available for those people that have their plans altered and now they're in a tough spot where you know they need they need a vehicle and you know i don't know about the major car rental companies what they're charging i'm actually going to research that and talk about that on the next video but you want to make sure that uh you control what you can control and making your vehicles available making them available immediately um and then have that 10 percent price boost uh you're going to be you know, that that's basically how I design my Turo business. Like, I'm not going to price slow, try to fill up my calendar. Would that be ideal? Yeah, of course, but at the right price. You know, I'm not going to give away, give away my vehicles 
you know, for example, my convertible, there's no way in heck I'm gonna price that anything below a hundred bucks uh, this first quarter uh, of the year of 2023. Uh, that car can bring me probably on average for February and March, probably get an average of, I'd say, I don't know, maybe 130. Because also, as far as a four series, um, you know, my, the, I mean, there's not that many convertible four series in my market, and especially not newer ones. There's a bunch of um, 2014s, 2015s, 2016s, and even 2017, and mine's a 2018. So now, you know, the 2014s are now going to be nine years old. And uh, that's why with me, with my 2014 5 Series, after the spring, I'm going to figure out what to do with it. Uh, I'm not going to make, I'm not going to keep it, at least on, on the Toro platform. I may keep it for myself, but I'm definitely not going to keep it on the Toro platform. So, um, but yeah, I'm going to milk it, milk this uh, first uh, quarter of uh, 2023 with it. Um get some earnings out of it and then i'll uh see what i what my options are in um probably april of uh, 2023 so make sure you're planning your uh calendars and especially if you're in an area where you get a lot of tourists these next uh three months january february march and um optimize your settings so right now like i've mentioned i have unlimited miles but that's going to probably, ch that will change uh, in mid-January. I'm going to remove the unlimited mileage uh, feature and because I know I'm going to get those bookings regardless. And because um, it will be busy season here for sure. So optimize your settings and price, do your market analysis, price out your vehicle accordingly. And yeah, just make sure it's available. In, in as little time as possible. You know, if you're on Turo Go, you can make it available in five minutes. I don't have Turo Go um, on any of my vehicles. I've, uh, well, my 2014 is not eligible. My 2018 is, but I haven't done that. So uh, what you'll, well, if you, if you do have that feature available or if you're open to having that feature open, uh, then go ahead and take advantage of that because that'll definitely set you apart, you know, even if you do a 30 minute, like I wish Turo would have even a 30 minute advanced booking notice on j just without Turo Go, because I definitely would have loved to take advantage of that. I mean, that would be a game changer, I think, for, for me, especially knowing that my vehicles are available right away. I mean, the only thing I would literally have to do is take pre-trip photos which is a five, 10 minute, you know, um, job. So, so yeah, um, make sure you're pricing out for the start of the new year, uh, January, February, March, and do your market an anal analysis. Make sure you're not pricing out yourself too low and still be able to get that good combination of filling up your calendar and also getting those last minute bookings so price it high enough where you're getting a little bit of advanced bookings but you're getting a bunch of last minute bookings uh to get that 10 percent price boost so let me know what your strategies are to start the year are you planning on growing your fleet in 2023 or scaling um selling some of your uh vehicles you know with me i'm definitely gonna remove my 2014 off the platform like i said after march so in april of 2023 and i'm not sure what i'm gonna do i'm not sure if i'll get a another vehicle because uh, like i said i'm i'm i run the tour business myself so you know i definitely don't want to ex extend myself to a point where uh, I have too many vehicles. So the most I would ever do is probably three vehicles as of right now. Um, and yeah, so in uh, April, I'm gonna see if I'm gonna uh, keep this car for myself as a personal, sell it, 
more than likely I'm gonna sell it because I don't want these expensive repairs to, I mean, the car's been great, knock on wood, but definitely don't wanna have a bunch of uh, expensive repairs coming up uh, down the road for me. So more than likely I'll probably sell it uh, privately and then get something else from there. Uh, but as far as will I replace it on Turo, um, I'm not sure. Uh, definitely want to see how the first quarter goes here in Phoenix because if my convertible doesn't do as well as I'm expecting it to do, especially to get the price point that I expect it to get, then I may even get out of that and put myself into maybe lease a minivan or lease maybe a Genesis SUV something like that so anyways I'll, I'll obviously keep you guys posted on what my what i'll end up doing there but yeah uh make sure you're setting your prices for the next three months and make sure you, your vehicles are available in as little time as possible one hour or less and i will see you guys on the next video take care